What is y'all's race or ethnicity? Caucasian. Caucasian. I, I gotta guess. If you guys could be one race for a day, what would you be and why? We're the superior race, like. Did you know the Moors taught Europe everything they know? They taught European women first, and the women went back and taught the men. We're the superior race, like. The Moors made significant contributions to science, mathematics, medicine, literature, and other fields of knowledge. Moor was a term Europeans used to describe indigenous people, known as the innovators of those hygienic practices such as bathing, shaving, and the use of toothpaste, perfumes, fragrant oils, and deodorant established centers of learning and scholarship in cities such as Cordoba, Granada, and Toledo in Spain, and their achievements had a lasting impact on the development of European culture. We're the superior race, like... The Moors also taught and influenced many others in Europe and the Middle East, including Christian and Jewish scholars who lived under their rule in Spain. While there may have been instances of sexual relationships between Moors and European women during the period of Moorish rule in Spain, it is important to recognize that the relationship between the Moors and Europeans during this period was complex and cannot be reduced to simplistic or sensationalized narratives. Because paper was needed in order to create documents to transfer knowledge the Moors also brought paper making to Spain, and under Moorish conquest, the first paper mill is recorded at Sativa in 1151. Along with this, over 4,000 Arabic words and derived phrases were absorbed into the Spanish language. Spanish use of words like algebra, alcohol, chemistry, nadir, alkaline, cipher, checkmate, influenza, typhoon, orange, and cable can be traced back to some more. Welcome to Pathology Home of the Real. We're the superior race, like. Royal palaces were so filthy that kings and queens were often dirtier than peasants. You see, royal courts were sort of like music festivals. You know, really fun, but like a lot of people partying in one place at one time. But unlike a music festival, they never stopped and castles didn't have plumbing. And on top of that, they thought that baths were bad for your health. This is King Louis XIV, he bathed twice. Not per week, not per month, just twice in his entire life. Now, peasants weren't exactly clean either, but at least they could avoid, you know, the mountains of poop and rotting food and horrific overcrowding that came with royal court. Did you know Moors taught Europeans how to bathe and be clean? We're the superior race. <laughs> the Western Roman Empire fell into complete bar barbarism, and I want to say 400 or 500 AD. In 711, black Moors from North Africa conquered Spain and also Portugal. And they say that these Europeans were very barbaric. They thought it was a sin to bathe. Now, these Moors consisted of different groups of people. You had Jewish Moors, you had Christian Moors, you also, the majority were Islamic Moors. Now, these different black Moors had actually ruled Spain and Portugal for nearly 800 years, from 711 to 1492 AD. They ruled Spain longer than America has been a nation. And as much history surrounding the Black Moors, but you know, you can actually go research yourself. Many inventions, many creations, and many innovations in Spain. We're the superior race. <laughs> not, listen, not, not as in like that. Oh, that's mad. We're, we are the Excuse me, I was brought up in, quote, Bedford Stevenson in my time. But I would like to say what scares us is I think we hear violence. Yes. May I respond? Yes. May I respond, please? And isn't it sad that we who have been the victims of so much violence, now whites fear violence from us. We do not have a history of killing white people. White people have a history of killing us. See? And what, and what you fear, may I say this, sir? What you fear, and it's a deep guilt thing, that white folks suffer, you are afraid that if we ever come to power, we will do to you and your fathers what you and your people have done to us. And I think you are judging us by the state of your own mind, and that is not necessarily the mind of black people. We're the superior race. <laughs> I said, did you know about the city of Cordoba that had advanced civilization 400 years before it reached Europe, all ran by melanated Moors? You know they ain't gonna teach us this shit. And when I mean advanced, I'm talking advanced. I'm talking 1,600 mosques, 900 public bathrooms, 200,000 middle-class houses, 60,000 mansions, 80,000 shops. They had AC, they had heat. They had from 500,000 to a million residents living there. They had paved roads. They had lights that lit the street for up to 10 miles. They had the biggest libraries in the world holding over 600,000 manuscripts. At this time, Europe had no libraries. They had no sewer system. The whole quote, pissing a pot came from them pissing a pot and throwing out the window. They used to keep their animals in their house. That's how chicken pox started to spread. They wasn't using no soap. Soap wasn't even introduced to them until the Moor Zeryab showed them how to bathe themselves and brought all the stuff to clean your body. Back then, a Moor would rather go without eating than not use soap. 
and they want to make it seem like we was running around hunter gatherers and it wasn't until we was colonized when we reached any type of civilization when history is showing that we taught them civilization come on man stop fucking playing with us we're the superior race like, it's German like, i don't i'm not gonna be like i want to be black because you guys have a f terrible time of it okay so what, what would you be after that crazy answer i'd be mixed race why, and why is that my ex boyfriend was mixed race um growing up but he never and never got it why are you running it'd be quite interesting to experience like what other people are going through i don't know like i've never never had someone comment on my race as a white girl say not racist oh here we go all oh, types of stereotypes right out your stereo them europeans don't want to look at the scenario they just started wearing drawers 300 years ago they started in all my history crackers playing the mummy and 98 percent of your genes come from a monkey I guess that's why you act like an animal In them caucus mountains eating corpses, you was a cannibal Down on all fours, you was crawling like an animal We taught you how to walk, now you the one we gotta stand up to We're the superior race <laughs> How dare you look us in the eyes like you don't feel us When Valentine's Day ain't about shit with pedophilia Broke up our homes and started adopting our kids Organ harvesting, robbing our kids You stole our land and gave it all to your kids And gave my ancestors babies to the crocodiles' kids They made souvenir crocodile heads now you tell me who the devil really is And if a race war pops, you know you started this shit And you gon' need every new nigga, all of them shits Vaccinating babies when they enter And why the fuck you keep the placenta? I'm going hard till it's fucking beat over Homosexuality come from Greek culture And while we on this subject, my nigga, just let me mention That Plato when the rest of them niggas never existed And you wonder why everybody hates you How the fuck you monetize nature? To those arrogant persons, you know when you tell us, go back, please remember where you came from. <laughs> and when you, when you want to relegate somebody to a specific place, just remember what your origin is in this world. Please, I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but I want you to understand that you, wherever you are on the earth, you're not a native anywhere. You came there and took it from the native people who are there. So please don't talk about going back, because if others talk to you about that, where would you go? And if anybody is claiming that they're a descendant of Noah, they are claiming that they are descendants of the Caucasus Mountains. And so here's the issue that I'm having. Scientifically, according to the Australian Research Center for Ancient DNA, we can prove that white people, Caucasoid people, because even if you don't identify as white, the term Jew is not a genealogical description. You can't. Geneal genealogically be a Jew. There's only four phenotypes. Dravidian, Caucasoid, Mongoloid, which is Asians and Koreans and all of them. And then there's Negroid, which is me and Africans. So Jews, whether you Ashkenazi, Khazarian, or whatever other terminology, y'all all fall genetically in the category of Caucasoid. And Caucasoids, according to not only history, but biblical history as well, descend from the Caucasus Mountains. We're the superior race. <laughs> I guess mine's in your nature. And Pocahontas didn't love them, bitch, he raped them. And look at all the shit you tried to flip on me. I taught you how to write and you rewrote history. And I can tell you why your soul is missing melanin. It sound like condensed. It's from the solar system. Hence you get your soul from the solar system. And now you know why your soul is missing. Guess that's why you dying just to get it. Skincancer.org. We're the superior race. Copyrighted in 1996. All right. What it said is this. And this is, this is the mind-blowing part. It said... That when they tested the orangutan, they found out he only had three DNA series. When they tested the gorilla, they found out the gorilla has four DNA series. So they're a little, he's a little smarter than the orangutan. They tested the chimpanzee, which is an ape, and found that he had five DNA series. Then they went into, they went all into the different races of the world. They went into Europe and tested the DNA series of the English, the French, the German, the Spanish, the Russians and found they had six DNA series. Then they put all of this, what they found from around the world on a map. And this map really is called the intelligence map of the world because they tested 116 different human groups and found their DNA series number. All of them all over the world have six. And they put the numbers in form of a little flag that you can see on this map. These little flags have a color that the English have only six and all into Europe, only six. Went over into Japan and China and they only have six. Over into America with a predominantly European and they only have six. Then they came to Africa and they came to the part of Africa. Now all the rest of them, they put in little flag colors 
the slag colors are, are orange red, if you notice. But when you come to Africa, found out that the African people have nine, nine DNA series from here just below the Shanghai Empire down to the foot of Africa. We're the superior race, like.